Hello beer nerds, this is Ryan with Beer By The Numbers. Headlines have me thinking of better days, and one of the things I miss most are the weekly trivia nights at my local brewery. Since we're all getting used to a little more time at home, let's play some virtual trivia together today. Feel free to pause the video as we go to get some more time to think, and let me know how you did with these hard beer trivia questions in the comments below. Let's get started. Question 1. King Gambrinus is the unofficial patron saint of beer, but who is the official Catholic saint of brewing? Saint Arnold of Soissons. Arnold was a career soldier before settling at the Benedictine St. Merdad's Abbey in Soissons, France. He spent his first three years as a hermit, but later rose to the abbot of the monastery. One miracle tale says, at the time of an epidemic, rather than stand by while the local people fell ill from drinking water, Arnold had them consume his monastery's brews. Because of this, many people in the church survived the plague. Question 2. The music from the Star Spangled Banner was derived from a British drinking song. Can you name that tune? Anacreon, or to Anacreon in Heaven. Give it a Google. If you're really nerdy like me, you can learn the words and sing it for your friends at parties. Question 3. The Egyptians claimed that one of their gods blessed them with barley and the knowledge of how to make beer. Which Egyptian god was this? Osiris, the god of death, was also the god of resurrection and fertility, which led the Egyptians to associate him with crops like barley after the Nile's periodic floods. Question 4. What is the oldest operating brewery in North America? The answer is Molson's. They were established all the way back in 1768 and still brew beer on that same site today. Question 5. What beer was the first beer to win a blue ribbon at the Chicago World's Fair in 1893? Of course, the answer is Pabst, thus earning the title Pabst Blue Ribbon. Question 6. What is the best-selling brand of beer in the Western Hemisphere outside the United States, and what country is it brewed in? Brahma is the best-selling beer outside the U.S. in the Western Hemisphere, and it is brewed in Sao Paulo, Brazil. And I can tell you from personal experience that it tastes absolutely amazing on a summer day on the beach. Question 7. What United States city goes by the nickname Birvana because of all the microbreweries in the area? Portland, Oregon's nickname is Birvana, and it is very high on my list of beer tourism destinations to go to next. Question number 8. In the last decade, the U.S. surpassed Germany to gain the crown of top hop producer in the world. But which country produces the third most amount of hops? The Czech Republic, the country that drinks the most beer per capita, needs to grow a lot of hops to satisfy all those drinkers. Diving into question 9, throughout the years many people have tried to make beer the official alcoholic beverage of the United States, as it is the most commonly consumed. But another beverage beat it to the punch in Congress. What is the official alcoholic beverage of the U.S.? The famous Kentucky Bourbon Whiskey, my favorite spirit to enjoy on a weekend. Question number 10. The first consumer protection law ever written was enacted by Duke Wilhelm IV of Bavaria in 1516. What hard to pronounce name does it go by today? Most beer nerds know this law as the Reinheitsgebot. Another interesting fact, the phrase deadly serious in English translates to beer ernst in German, 
which literally means beer serious. That is how seriously they take beer in Germany. Question number 11. The portable beer cooler was invented in what country? Coming from down under, Australia. Being hot and beer loving can make drinkers rather inventive. Question number 12. In what year did home brewing become federally legal in the United States? Of course, this was 1979, signed into law by President Jimmy Carter, that old peanut farmer, and it inspired a new generation of brewers. Question 13. Pope Gregory IX was forced to make a rather strange ruling that you cannot baptize a baby in beer. This was in response to a baby in what country being baptized in beer because the bishop there said no safe water was available. Actually, this happened in Norway, and the Archbishop of Trondheim was reprimanded by the Pope. Interestingly, it was common to use milk when safe water wasn't available at the time, but beer was apparently a step too far for the Catholic Church. Question 14. The world's first trademark was beer-related. What beer brand's logo was the first ever to receive a trademark? This was Bass Beer. Bass Beer was founded by William Bass in 1777 in Burton-on-Trent in England. In 1876, Bass Ale had the distinction of procuring Great Britain's first trademark, the famous red triangle above the word Bass. By the following year, the Pale Ale had become the world's best-selling beer. Our final question, question 15. According to the Brewers Association official style guidelines, there is one beer style name that begins with the letter V. Can you name that beer style? The answer, of course, is Vienna Lager, a great style of beer for these early spring days. So how did you do with these hard beer trivia questions? Let me know down in the comments section below. And if you like this video and want some more beer trivia questions, or maybe even a beer trivia live stream, be sure to let me know that as well. Once again, this has been Ryan with Beer by the Numbers, and I'll see you in my next fact-filled video.